Welcome to the Great Outdoors with Cook and Chief with Laban and Larry. Hi. Hi. Good to see everybody. We're glad to be here today where on this site just over 50 years ago, Larry was born. <laughs> <laughs> right in this cabin. <laughs> no, actually, we are at the birthplace of Booker T. Washington, which is not far from where we do our show, and we're so glad to welcome all of you to one of our favorite places. In the uh, Blue Ridge Mountains, very, very lovely, right outside of uh, the Roanoke area, and uh, the fall of the year, the leaves are ablaze. It's just a gorgeous time to be out. Uh, the cookhouse here is where Booker and his uh, brother and sister and his uh, mother lived in this tiny little building, and it's where we're going to cook today. Mm -hmm. And we got some smoke rolling around oh, yes, here all around us. We do. And right next to the house here, uh, you can see the foundation of the Burroughs farm where uh, Robert and Elizabeth Bur Burroughs uh, lived. And it's certainly not an Annabella mansion. It's a small, tiny house, not much bigger than the cookhouse here. And they lived there with their family. And right behind it was their smokehouse where they kept meat, uh, salted the pork, and mm -hmm. smoked it. And uh, that's where we are today for cooking cheap and where we're going to be cooking. So we're going to go into this building yep. and do some cooking right now for you. All right. Whew. You got a nice fire oh, going in we here. do. And, I, and let me stir the stew. Now, I, you know, stir this, the stew. Stir the stew. Now, you know, this stew takes forever to make. So now, what are you making again? This now? is genuine Brunswick stew from Brunswick County, Virginia. And it's right here in our pot, and On we've an had open it, fire. Yeah, it swings over the fire like that. But the fire is fiery hot <laughs> today. We had the chestnuts and, roasting on and on. And, we, and we're trying lily. to keep it off the fire a little bit because we don't want it to burn. But it, it's... Uh, this is the actual you know, uh, kitchen. This is it. Yeah. This is really the right. true working kitchen <sighs> like it used to be Very, in the old days. Very interesting. Dirt floor and everything. Dirt floor and, uh, and mud daubers and, all and sorts of things. <laughs> spiders. Just like it was. All right, here we got our antique period chicken. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me tell you, Brunswick stew, boys and girls, ought to be made with squirrels and woodchucks. That's a groundhog. But how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? The greatest of planet. Yeah, okay. All right. Just anyway, uh, squirrels and woodchucks are not available, generally speaking, in most of your nationwide supermarket chains or even your neighborhood grocery stores. But they were available in your backyard. I've been there. Yes, they were. And had <laughs> yeah, they them, still but are. <laughs> but I don't want to mess with them. They're my friends. You don't eat your friends. They're little furry friends. All right. Well, uh, now, this chicken has to be carved up into pieces. So if you sing, I fall to pieces, this, this, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to cut this see. bird up. What do you got to see about it? Ain't nothing to see. No, I know. I just always enjoy watching you cut, <laughs> <laughs> cut the bird. He's so well, professional. A, you, need a, you need a real heavy uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. knife to do this with, because yeah. this is a large bird. You it need is. a stewing hen. Now, when you hold it up like that, you get down in here, and you have to kindly break on it, but you'll find where these bones go together in here, and you just cut right through them, I mm. hope. Uh-huh. <laughs> what do you do with them? You, you, you cut right through them. There we go. There we go. And as no, you... No, no, that's not no, it that's either. That's not it, but it's, it's getting close. <laughs> oh, I'm pulling the skin right off. Oh, hell. Oh, <laughs> well, there it is. There. Yeah, this is... <laughs> and... As you cut up your bird, you just put it right down into a pot. I do admire you for your, what? well, you know, your, your bravery my, in my. trying to attempt this. I would say a lot of people would just go out and buy it already pre-cut, and that would be the end of yeah. it. But it costs an awful lot more that way. It really does, almost double mm -hmm. if you have it all cut up. If you buy it by, it's sort of like buying a car by the piece. It just costs yeah, a lot more. You just have to feel around down here. There it is, right there. They didn't have cars in Booker T's day, and I shouldn't be mentioning them. Just so to be authentic about it. There's another piece. Now, here we go with the wings. 
Oh, he's going to wing it now. Uh-huh. And just uh, get right down in there. And you can... You can hear those bones breaking. There it is right there. And you can cut off this wing tip right here. Why do people do that? <clears throat> Why do you cut are, off the wing These tip? are the nasty parts. Oh. See, it's got the little extra th the thumb on it and everything. Oh. And it's just... Never see that chicken out beside the road again. Doesn't have a thumb. Mm -mm. I got nothing to hitchhike with. And we got an authentic wooden table here. Yes, this really is. This is something. This table. This really is a, an old one. May not be an original you one, know, but I it is an old one. And uh, one of the oh. old kind that I grew up with back in my days on the farm. Oh, do we have to hear that tale again? I say that because we've been out here for a while today waiting to go on. Yes, and the tourists have been coming by and looking <laughs> at us. And the crew is giving me a hard time about how many times I've mentioned the fact that I'm a farm boy on this show in the last nine All years. All right, now, Lair, we've got our uh, breasty. Beg your pardon? The breasty. And the rest of this, we're going to keep cutting this. The rusty and the rusty. Oh, look. Oh, this bird has got it some has terrible crop. <laughs> <of it. laughs> you fool. No, no, no. Now, what you do is you just throw your neck, and, and here's the heart. Uh -huh. And here's the, the liver. Gizzard. No, that's the liver. I don't know where the gizzard Where's is. Where's the gizzard? Wait a minute. Here it is. No. Here, no. Here's the liver and the liver. The heart. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Let me look well, down in here and see. Oh, dozen. no, here Where's it is. Here it is. Here, no, now, there's what? the and here's the gizzard, and by the look of it, you're in big trouble. <laughs> you're going to have three children and the ugliest wife in the world. Well, now, if it looks like that. Huh? Now, the, well, that's, you know, how they used to tell fortunes. Is they'd it really? Pull, yeah, Back they'd pull in the old the, days? Yeah, they'd pull the entrails out and look at them, but you put that right... Right. <laughs> oh, I was going to cut it with my knife sharp. I'm going to go over All here right. and stir on the All right. brunzer. This is a hot fire, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not kidding you. We have to be kind of careful. Now, we don't wanna... this, is a, this is the Pope's nose. This is a tail of fat and stuff here. Pope's and I'm nose. not going to put this in the pot because it, we just don't need all this grease. So I'm going to throw this down here with Where the nasty parts. Where did you get parts. that Pope's huh? nose? Well, that's what they call it. I never heard tell it tell us that. And I'm still trying to... Cut up through here. Yeah, that's that. And all right. And the back and mm, the mm. sound of bones a crunch. Right. And we're But this is the way they used to have to wrestle yep. chickens around all the time. First you had to go out and catch them. And then do all that other all the other we won't go into all Well, you know how they how People you, don't want to know anymore no, they how don't. the food is prepared, where it comes from. We were talking about that earlier. Right. Not on television when we were talking about it out oh, in the field. Know, down yeah. there. <laughs> Aren't you glad there's a dirt floor in here? <laughs> Johnson is going to be wrestling this thing. Get... An owl chicken wrestling straight live <laughs> from Capitol Arena. <laughs> Here's our host for the evening. All right, oh, now there's the back. <laughs> we put the back down in there and the breast it, uh, and which oh, is a, a large, fine breast. Ooh, and you put is. all that down in your pot and you cover it up with water. And you're going to be... Do you need some water? Here's some water if you need it. Uh, I'm going to put all the other stuff in before I put the oh, water Oh, right. okay. Well, and I'm just trying to help. You. I'm going... <laughs> thank you so much. I'm going to put in some a uh, couple of medium-sized onions here and some other stuff. So while I'm slicing this up, Mr. Bly, uh, yeah. would you show us what you're doing with those rusty-looking carrots? Well, first of all, i got to tell you, folks, uh, I'm going to do an apple, carrot, and raisin salad. Now, what are the origins of this salad? Do the, does this salad go back a long time? Do you, you know, you sort of helped uh, yeah, uh, put this, uh, prepare this together you know, for it's me. It's a typical kind of salad that you would have found at a special time of the year mm -hmm. because carrots and raisins, or uh, carrots and apples, were abundant in the fall of the year. Now, you would not have found raisins except at a holiday time. Most people could not. Let me tell you why I'm doing what I'm doing. You see well, what I'm doing? You? See what I'm doing? Uh huh. It's not supposed to be done this way. Oh. Because it what flies happened? all over the camera, people, all over my shoe. It says four medium carrots grated. Well, if you grate them, they kind of do this. All right? I left my grater at home. 
no. I'm sorry. I'm out in the middle of the field. I can't help it. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> so if you lo you if you use your grater, don't go all to pieces. Don't just go all to pieces. It. Just get out a little peeler and start peeling it. Sort of like that. You just sort of shave it off a little bit. It won't take very long. Four of them. I've got big ones instead of medium, so I'm not going to do all of them. I'm not going to do it all the way down to the core. I'm good to the core. <laughs> and not too bad to the enlisted ladies. Right. All right. Well, anyway, no, I'm just going to keep doing that. All right, Bly, while you're doing that, I'm now beginning to slice up the first of four potatoes. Well, I hope that's not as miserable as the chicken was. No, no. It, that goes a lot faster. I think you did do a right good job on it, really, in all seriousness. That is tough work, cutting up a yeah, chicken up. Yeah, but you know, you can get the whole chicken a whole lot cheaper than you can the cut up chicken. So, uh, Didn't I get, say that earlier? Did you Didn't say I that? I believe you did. Go into a Come great deal of thing about how you can put a car together a lot cheaper. But and you know, if you watch the stores, if you watch the supermarkets, me. you'll find every once in a while they have fryers on sale, dirt cheap, and you can get a whole one for just a couple of dollars. And if you're smart, you'll get several of them and practice on them, cutting them up. There's nothing to it. Now, for well, this yeah, one, I'm sure a lot of people out there are going to want to buy chickens to practice on. Well, I mean, you know, you can still use them, make chicken stock, anything. I know, I, I'll do that next time I go to the store. Well, I hope you will. Let's get one to practice on, Martha. But anyway, well, I'm, I'm still going I'm at it. Well, I'm working on four Irish potatoes that have got to go into this stew. I was going to throw the extra carrots as a lamp outside this window. Uh -huh. Just before we got on the air, they sealed it up. Uh huh. So that we so couldn't breathe. So there went Joke Ola number one uh -huh. out the old... Well, anyway. It, you know what? This is a real working. There is, uh, they're going to have a fit if I open it up. There is a part of my body that is beginning to get very <laughs> toasty. <laughs> it does That's smell uh, like maybe the back <laughs> of your jeans is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we're going to have to call in hose company number four to put you out. All right. Anyway. Now I've got my four potatoes. Am I keeping oh. this in? Uh, uh huh. Well, it sounds like. <laughs> Sounds like uh, somebody got a cold in here. Was that you coughing? It's certainly not me, Laban. Is that all you? All right, now, you've got all, <laughs> this, all these onions and potatoes in here, and now you're going to add a pint of butter beans. Oh, now, for those of you... I you didn't like them. I don't, particularly. For those of you that are ignorant... <laughs> raise your hands. Right, raise, raise your hands, hands up. Oh, yeah, well, oh, we knew she was, well, and, and he definitely is. And, and those two little ugly children. Yes, you know the ones... Yeah, you, right out there. Mm -hmm. Feel bad about it, too. Anyway, these are butter beans. They're little baby lima beans, and they're real tasty, and you need a pint of them, so you're going to put these into your pot. There they all go in there. And a pint. That uh, is two cups for those of you that have forgotten from when you went to elementary school. And then we're going to put a little salt and pepper, and this is some period pepper. <laughs> I thought it was a semicolon pepper. And just a little bit of salt, and it start out with just a teaspoon or two because you can uh, correct it later on. Now, that's your salt and pepper. I just know and there's going to be a lot of tourists come by here later on want to know what all these butter beans and carrots are doing all over the oh, floor sure, of this building. Sure. Now, you, you fill this up with water, and you cook it until the chicken gets real tender. We have water. Tan tender. Real tender? Real tender. Then you have to take your chicken out. You use your tongs. Do oh, not no. use your hands because you will receive severe burns if you put your hand in About a the body. pot. <laughs> right. So you want to get your tongs out and pull the chicken out and bone it, which is very easy to do when it's warm. If you just let it cool off for a few minutes, you'll find you can pull the skin off and use your hands. Don't try to do it with a knife. It's mm. dumb. God gave you real good fingers, and you can just pull the chicken meat off and pull the bones out, the skin off, and pull the meat apart. You remember when we did Ropa Viejo? Well, God bless you, my I son. I swear to goodness, I believe we one have One of a... the camera persons has sneezed. One's got a cough and another sneeze. sneezed. Uh-huh, they're terrible. And then the Sneezy two, and dopey. The two outside are limited. <laughs> they're simple. <laughs> dopey and simple are right. out on the lawn. Well, anyway. anyway. Uh, 
After you have boned the chicken, you take your meat, like we did that ropa de a couple and of years ago, and you apart. pull it apart like that. Just pull it apart and put it back in the pot. Mm -hmm. Put it back in the pot. Now we've got to start working on some more vegetables. And Bly, I know that you'll enjoy this part because this is another gadget. And I know how you enjoy my gadgets. Hmm. Uh, before I do that, let me, they're signifying to, is, oh, it's oh going, don't want that stuff no, to burn. Let me get over here and stir this up a little bit. Well, how's well, it, it's how's doing, it just, doing, It's doing fine. Yeah? Let me put it back over here on the fire. I want it to be good and hot. A little while when we well, start. I don't think you're going to have to worry about that. It's been on for about six hours. All right, now look, hours. a what? ear of corn. You recognize this, don't you? When I was yeah, on you the grew farm. up on the farm. Yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, this is a ear of corn kernel cutter offer. You know, Johnson probably has more gadgets than anyone I've ever seen in my life. And not only does he have them, the amazing thing is he uses them. Well, sure. Well, look at that. Because you need a pint of corn. Now, this is the nasty part. Right? You have to just you really grab this thing and you turn it, and it cuts the corn. And now I've got a pint of corn to put in here. But you don't put the corn in until after everything is cooked pretty good. Well, Larry, what now? What have you got to do? Well, I've got to start getting going on this oh, salad because okay. well, you diddled around here. Anyway. Well, I we're we're going to... Uh, I have uh, <laughs> four, four carrots I've grated, sort of. And now I'm going to take these so, luscious, beautiful, medium apples. <laughs> Aply is the way you Aply, have them printed so. here. <laughs> and I'm going to, to chop them, but first I've got to core them again. A little bit, and a simple way to do that is to make a snit, an apple snit. See, just cut that little nastiness out of there. Thank you for upsetting the bag so no one else well, can use here, it. Well, here, let me do it. You work on that. <laughs> Good grief. I, now, I, I guess I ought to peel the peel off of it. It doesn't say to, and I don't guess you have to, but I reckon it would be rude if you don't. And it's going to take a little bit of time to do. Oh, well, go ahead. No tell it. What? <laughs> I swear to goodness. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. just uh, just peeling a little bit. What is these what wonderful. is that? Isn't that what started the Tong Wars? It, no, no. Now I'm just there's chopping, a fly in here. Chopping these apples. Well, for well, of course we sake. are outside. There's no we, screens on this window either. Probably this this house probably wouldn't fit in most modern building codes. <laughs> well, I don't think it's very important that it does. Well, we're the first people that's prepared food here for a couple of weeks. Well, it, you know, they <laughs> they do every once in a while. Excuse me, I realize I'm peeling this out of camera range, but well, I can't help it. The bag's over here. Well, There's nothing I can right. do about it. I mean, it's a dirt floor. You could throw them right down on the ground. Nobody know the difference. Well, I think that the, we'll get them up the people on. that come to look at this building would probably We could know ask the Elizabeth to come in here and eat them. Now, I'm doing two of these. I'm chopping them up. Now, I'm chopping them fairly fine, but not as fine as I could chop them. But I don't have a lot of time, and I don't want to hurt myself. Oh. I'm always hurting myself on these yeah, trips. And, and I just don't feel, feel like hurting myself today. I'm sorry. It's a slippery apple. These are the famous slippery apples. You've heard of them. Mm -hmm. They're real good, though. Slippery, but good. Well, while you're doing that, yeah. after you've boned your chicken and shredded your meat, you add a pint of cooked tomatoes. And I'm using some crushed canned tomatoes. Already done ones. Right, or you could use six or eight raw ones. Well, we do have somewhat up. limitations right. here in that we're not. And a pint of kernel corn. And you put that over in there and you cook it along a little bit until the corn is tender. And it won't take long, maybe 10, 15 minutes. The corn is tender, blah, 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 blah. Anyway. And then after you've done that, to finish your recipe off, you add just a little bit of margarine or butter. And I've got a stick of it with me, but I'm not going to throw it down in there because we, we're not doing the whole thing right over here. And then you add a cup of breadcrumbs. And this is very important because your breadcrumbs give a thickening agent to the whole thing. So your stew will have some body to it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And if you don't do that, it won't thicken up? It won't thicken up. What, it? Couldn't you just put a little, what, what is to prevent you from putting a little, uh, maybe perhaps uh, just a tad little bit of, uh, of uh, what is it I'm trying to think, uh, flour in it? Flour. Yeah. Would well, that have the same? Sure, but you, but flour is harder to deal with because it it doesn't uh, melt. What am I trying to say? It doesn't uh, it doesn't get absorbed into a hot thing very well unless you mix it with water and things. 
So one of the things you need to do is just use the breadcrumbs because they're just real easy to throw in. Right. You know, why don't we take a minute and look at the recipes for these wonderful dishes so that people can copy them down. First, we've got uh, the Brunswick stew. And you need one stewing hen, that's a large one, three or four pounds, four potatoes diced, a pint of butter beans, a couple of onions, and a diced uh, pint of corn, cut off the cob, of course, one pint of canned tomatoes, a tablespoon of margarine or butter, and a cup of bread crumbs. You cook those the way we said, and you'll have a nice Brunswick stew. Okay, the apple carrot raisin salad, two medium apples chopped, four medium carrots grated, a half cup of raisins, a half cup of walnuts, three tablespoons salad dressing, uh, two tablespoons whipping cream, two tablespoons lemon juice, and a teaspoon of sugar. And I'm going to finish it up right now. As a matter of fact, what i got to do now won't take very long. We have the, the apples, the chopped carrots. I'm adding right now just a little bit uh, of the lemon, a uh, little tiny bit of sugar, all right, just a little of that, two tablespoons of uh, salad dressing, one, two, really? give or take a couple there, just a little bit of the whipping cream, one, two, and some chopped walnuts. And then all we're going to do at this point is just mix it, mix it together and serve it. So and I'm just going to toss it right now with two spoons. This is what we're going to do. And just mix it around in there. And it's going to make a lovely little presentation here. I just know. Oh, raisins. I forgot for raisins. I knew there was something oh. missing in here. Some raisins. All right. Toss I'm those in there, too. Left. Well, I don't think there probably them. are. And are those the bowls that I'm supposed to use no, there? No, you brought your own. This is for the oh, stew. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, let's get at it. Let me go ahead and serve up some of the stew. And we have, uh, and then we have a guest, a guest coming in. Well, I'm glad I brought some extra plates. I didn't know we were having company. Why don't you introduce our guest right. before well, we get... Alice, uh, come on in. Everybody, this is Alice Hannawalt. With the Park Service. And... Alice, you were in a uniform earlier. What happened to that? I dropped back a century. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you a little salad. Oh, oh. There you go. Unfortunately, there's nothing to eat it with, Alice, so you can just stand there with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, have a, well, let's see. Well, here, well, here you go, Laban. Stew. And there's some now, watch your Here, you can hand. set it right there, darling. Oh. Set it right down there. It won't be okay. Blah. Here's well, some thank you. I'll you. try some stew if you'll try the salad, which All has right. not had time to marinate, let's face it. But uh, we... Uh, let's try this and see how it is. Mmm. The stew is very, very good. It's been mm. cooked on an open fire for some time. Mm. How's a little salad? It's mm. terrific. Mm. Come together mm. pretty well? Mm. Mm. Very well, tasty. Got walnuts and raisins mm. and all sorts of stuff in there. And it has a different consistency than it would have if you grated and if it. And you but notice, everybody, the stew with the breadcrumbs in it has become nice and hearty and thick. And this is really the way to eat. Well, we have managed under inclement conditions somewhat right although delightful conditions in this case well is it okay right she well, says it's great in case you couldn't hear for <laughs> us city boys it's been a real experience uh, cooking over an open fire Alice, but come on over here with us you can do it and we just want to thank everybody at the booker t washington birthplace for you. helping us today, and we She's sure have had a good time. Day, and we appreciate it. We and do. this is the real McCoy, so try it at your house sometime. Mm -mm -mm. Wonderful. All right, that's about it. And we'll see you next week, Bye. or next time, or whenever. <laughs>